Hi and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It is finally time for the acoustic lesson for the months of January through March. Yeah, I know it's May. I got way behind on things. March, May, one of those months, 2019. And I've got a great tune for you. Maybe it's worth the wait. I had a request for Lonnie Johnson's tune called Blue Ghost Blues. In fact, I got this request around Halloween 2018. It's taken me a long time to listen to this thing and figure it out to the point where I think I can you know, show you how to play it or show you how he's playing it. No guarantees. You know, I, I just do it by ear. I, I don't know much about Lonnie Johnson's particular style other than what I've learned from other videos and just listening to it myself. But this is a cool tune. It's in the key of E. And I had done a couple other lesson things on Lonnie Johnson's songs, blues and G, way down in the alley. And those are both in the drop G tuning, or the, what's called the G tuning. And this is standard tuning. And it's in E position. If you listen to the original recording, it's going to be an F. And I don't know whether he tuned his guitar differently or used a capo. I'm guessing the guitar was tuned differently. If you want to play along with the recording, what you need to do is put a capo on the first fret or tune your guitar uh, differently to an F. But I'm just going to show you how I play it in standard tuning. And there's different parts to it. First we'll go through the introduction, and then we'll look at some of the fill licks and the verses, and then there's a, a solo which brings the song to a close. Again, this is what I think he's playing. And if you have different ideas, different opinions, by all means, share them. Let me play the introduction for you for Lonnie Johnson's Blue Ghost Blues. That's how he kicks it off, and I think I'm pretty close on, on this part. The toughest part of this are the bends. And when he bends that second string at the third fret, you gotta really bend that sucker. And to get it to sound just like he did, you'll have to really listen to the original recording and try to get those bends right where he did. I'll do the best I can here, but I can show you which string he's bending as, as far as that goes, but you gotta listen to it if you wanna make it sound like he did. So it's in E, so we're starting out with a, a little figure on the third fret of the second string with the open second string. Like that. And then what I'm doing here is I'm making a partial B seventh chord without the pinky on the first string. And I'm just stumbling between the fifth and the fourth strings. And then I'm getting the second string, which is open. So we've got this. That's what I hear, something very close to that. And then he's going to go into this really cool bend on the second string. He's going to bend it way up. I'm just checking, I'm strumming that to make sure I'm still in tune after doing that, that bend. So he's going to the third string, or the second string, third fret. Bringing it back down. And doing this, this, this run over the E, basically the E7. Check the tab for the notes on this. And then I'm getting the bass. And then he's going to do this. Really cool little double stop turnaround thing. This is just a typical... You hear this a lot in like Robert Jr. Lockwood's playing and and other electric bluesmen use this, this E turnaround. I've got my first finger on the fourth fret of the third string, my second finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string. And I'm pinching those strings and then getting the open second string. So we got this. And then I'm just gonna descend third and fourth fret, second and third. We got this. And then he's doing this hammer on into that same position that we used here 
on the now we've got it on the first and second fret, so the third string and the fifth string. So the whole thing sounds like this. So he's going to get the fourth string and the open sixth. So let me do the whole introduction so far. part is he goes into the first vocal, he's just, I hear an alternating bass on the sixth and the fourth string, and he's just going to strum up holding the E chord, really the open first and second strings. And then he's going to start singing the first verse. Let me play that for you again. second string. I'll fix that before we continue. Check the tab that I have for you, and above all, listen to the original. With this guitar, I can't get those bends. I don't know if I need a heavier second string on there to get that sound, but he gets just this incredible tone out of whatever guitar he was playing, and that is tough to imitate. But you can come close, and the key is those bends, bending those to the right, the right spot. All right, I'll be back in a bit, and we'll do the verses and take a look at some of the fills and all the other cool stuff that he plays with the verses.